You're joking, aren't you? It's the Teesside Chef. Hey, do you need a famous sweet treat for Christmas or birthdays that's quick and easy because you're a bit useless? Well, all you need for this is three ingredients. Sweetened condensed milk, butter, some water, cocoa powder and a pinch of salt. And I'm not really counting the water and salt as ingredients, even though they are. Because three ingredient party dessert sounds much more alluring, doesn't it? I know you lot expect miracles when you see a video on this platform. You know, two ingredient spaceships or five minutes sourdough. And then you have the cheek to leave snarky comments when it doesn't work out. Hey look, I'm not having a go at you, I'm just saying. So let's just agree that there are really three ingredients in this recipe. Three main ingredients. And let's move on, eh? So I've melted 30 grams of butter very gently in a pan. And now I'm going to add a standard sized tin of sweetened condensed milk to that. And that's about 400 grams. And let's get 25 grams of unsweetened cocoa powder in now. And you could just throw this in, but that's going to be a bit of a nightmare to be honest. So you're best off adding in a good glug of water and whisking it to a smooth consistency first. So the water isn't really an ingredient, you see. It's more of a texture vector. And you have to admit I've got you on a technicality there. Okay, so pour it in there then, instead of standing around with your mouth open, catching flies. Show me a bit of life then. And here's a pinch of salt coming in now, and don't start, because you don't have to put this in. And now comes the hard work. You have to stir this constantly, and brace yourselves now for the long haul. You're going to need to stir this for around 20 minutes, but maybe longer, depending on the heat of your pan. And the heat of the pan is medium-low, just like your attention spans. And you do have to keep this mix constantly moving on this medium low heat. And it is pretty tedious doing this and watching it, I suppose. So how about a bonk this camera angle to keep you entertained? Because you need that, don't you, you lot, to be constantly stimulated. Otherwise you'll be off watching cat videos or something, ruining my YouTube retention rate. And that will bury my channel smashing in the algorithm abyss. Anyway, as you stir, you'll notice the mixture thicken up, and once that happens, you need to keep stirring until you reach the correct consistency. The mix should just about hold its shape as you run the spoon through it, just like this here. And once you've got to this stage, if you lift a spoonful of the mix up, it should slowly lollop off the spoon like this. And lollop is a real word. So now that that's done, we're going to need to get this scraped onto a plate to cool now. And give it a good spread out to speed up the cooling process, because you definitely don't want to finish these while they're still warm. And the finishing process means rolling this mix into small balls and placing them in a little paper case. And you can make these as big or as small as you like, but I generally try to make them fill up my paper case pretty well. And remember that the mix is fully cooled at this point, and I'm just using a teaspoon here to gather up little portions and it should hold firmly on the spoon like this. And I'm just going to bring it over and compare it with my paper case here. And what size is that, would you say? A mouse's head? A macaque's testy? Whatever it is, it looks about right. So I'm going to roll these into a ball. Now, when I'm coating my hands with this melty butter here, and that'll help the rolling process, and it'll also help stick the traditional sprinkles to this traditional holiday dessert. These toffee, strog, fudgy little party dessert treats are called brigadeiros and they're from brazil and they are traditionally served at christmas or at birthday parties or other celebrations and you can tell your friends that can you impress them and that when you make these can you so now this is rolled into a lovely smooth ball i just can't resist having a little play with it now and i'm not going to kick it around on the beach like a brazilian would because it'll get all sand in it and you lot will probably complain that that's one extra ingredient and i'm rolling this now in the traditional dark chocolate sprinkles and coat these as generously as you can, and that melty butter should help them stick, like I said. But you may need to press them in firmly, and, oh god, these sprinkles are another ingredient, aren't they? And so are these, I suppose, for all you pedants, my mini muffin paper cases, but uh, you don't eat this, so it doesn't count. But that fits lovely in there. Set them in the fridge for 20 minutes, and then serve them ideally at room temperature. A seasonal, traditional, exotic, easy dessert for you all. Are you satisfied with that one, are you? Like and subscribe then, eh? And come back next week. Terra.